This is the presentation of our research, iron dope nickel oxide nanoparticles synthesis and analyzing different properties for the 8th undergraduate virtual research competition at Abu Dhabi University under supervision of Dr. Hoda al from British Noura bint Abdurrahman University. In this study, we prepared iron oxide doped nickel oxide nanoparticles by using the chemical precipitation method. It has many advantages such as the simplicity and the condition of the process, the obtained crystal structure, and that the particle size can be more controllable, to result in a quite a promising material to be used in many industrial applications. Why nickel oxide? Nickel oxide has unique electrical, optical, magnetic, thermal, and mechanical properties. It is a p-type semiconductor with large excitation binding energy and a stable wide band gap ranges from 3.6 to 4 electron volts. Nickel oxide can be used in many applications, such as in micro batteries, electrochromic coatings, active optical filters, and as a material for gas or temperature sensors, or as a counter electrode. Our motivation of this research is, first of all, enhancing the properties of the material in general and making more materials option in the industry market, as well as decreasing the cost of making better materials. As I said, the samples were made by the chemical precipitation method. First of all, both iron nitrate and nickel nitrate were dissolved in an aqueous solution and kept stirring under a medium speed and temperature of 50 Celsius. After that, it was grinded into a powder and placed in a muffle furnace with temperatures ranging from 300 to 420 Celsius for 2 hours, resulting in iron doped nickel oxide nanoparticles. The devices that were used were steam sterilizer, muffle furnace, X ray powder diffraction, scanning electron microscope, Fourier transform infrared spectroscope, and UV visible spectroscopy. The result obtained from XRD is that the crystalline structure of nanoparticles has been improved due to the addition of iron and calcium samples at different temperature to be phase center cubic, and this observation is consistent with the previous studies. Same images shows the morphology of the iron doped nickel oxide nanoparticles. It is observed that the shape of the particle is nearly spherical and oval with non-homogeneous distribution and they are in the range of 10 to 30 nanometers, as particle size came out to be 4.6, 8.3, and 12.2 nanometers, which means that the particle size increase with the increase of temperature. In order to determine the chemical structure of the samples, the spectra was observed over the frequency range of 590 to 4000 centimeters. The broadness of the absorption band indicates that nickel oxide particles are non-crystals and well crystallized, the intensity of nickel oxygen and iron oxygen stretching band increasing as the calcination temperature increase. UV visible absorption results have shown that a rise in the temperature of calcination causes a red shift in the absorption spectrum and a decrease in the band gap due to an increase in the size of the particles. We can say calcinating samples at high temperature with a constant concentration of iron are the main parameters of the appearance of a red shift in our results. Nanostructured nickel oxide and iron oxide particles have been successfully synthesized using the chemical precipitation method. The result obtained from XRD confirms that the crystallized size increases with an increase in the calcination temperature. Calcination temperature plays a vital role in controlling the particle size, which turns to be helpful in modifying the structural and optical properties of the form nickel oxide and iron oxide nanoparticles. Nickel oxide and iron oxide nanoparticles can be a promising material for optoelectronic application because of its desired structural and optical properties. At the end, we can say nickel oxide and iron oxide nanoparticles can be a promising material to be used as a layer in the perovskite solar cells because of a small band gap that leads to high conductivity. Also, the absorption of the solar cell will be in a wider range of wavelengths. In addition, Dubbing the perovskite with this material will improve the stability of it due to the nickel that acts as a protective layer in the perovskite from external factors, decomposition, and in reducing recombination of the target.